Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 13, Home on the Range Rovers. This is up FM20, and we are with Forrest Green. Uh, so, let's take a quick look. So, after last match, that was here, yep. Uh, we had a 3-0 win over Charlton, George Williams, Elliot Freer, the two wingers, and Ibu Adams, midfielder, got a late goal, 3-0 win. A 1-0 defeat to Rothram in the Cup. They're top of the table. We actually played pretty well, so I'm not disappointed in that too badly. Birmingham traveled to our place. Uh, we had almost a sellout, uh, definitely uh, over our seating capacity. But 3-2, Ashley Hunter with a brace, so I was really happy with that. Both of them were on, uh, on throw-ins to be uh, funny enough. Uh, Rock, Rochdale, Rockdale, 1-1 draw. Ashley Hunter scored again, and that was actually a true finish. And then we just beat Arsenal's under-23s 4-0. Uh, not many people showed up for this one on a Tuesday midweek game. 498 fans. Um, yeah, Arsenal's plastic fans, none of them showed up to support their U-23s. Farron Rawson with a goal, Harvey White with a goal, Aaron Collins with a brace, one goal in each half. So uh, looking good there. We are playing Cheltenham today. They are 16th in the table and Crew 15th in the table. We are currently 10th, still chasing the lead pack. Like I said, I don't expect uh, much in the way of promotion this year. And I'm wondering, you know, if you get promoted too fast, I just find that that really screws your team up. You know, does that make sense? Um, makes it harder to keep pace financially, upgrading your, your training, your youth facilities, your stadium. I think you need to get in and stabilize over a year or two and, you know, build the team up and, you know, get more fans and, you know, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you have any tips for if you do get multiple promotions back to back, how do you, because you guys are the ones that said, hey, let's make this a single team save. So I'm having to think long term. Normally in a journeyman style, you would just sit there and go, well, I'll, you know, if I get two or three promotions back to back, no big deal. I don't care if they go down because then I'm going to have a high enough reputation that I can get hired somewhere else with that's already established and not have to build that infrastructure. So we need to be thinking about that. All right, we've got Kennedy and Collins on the wings. That puts Hunter up top. Uh, White and Pilge in the mid. Backinson in the defensive mid slot. Brown and Talbro on the wings. Wingbacks, McGinley, Rawson in center defense. Uh, I do want to change that. I thought I'd already done it. I must have done it when I was playing a game. I don't like that. We're not good enough ball playing defenders. Rawson's, Rawson's only an eight passing. McGinley's, McGinley's an 11. You know what? Let's let's keep him as a ball playing defender. Let's make, yeah, we'll keep we'll move him to a central defender. I like that. That looks good for me. Let's get into the match. But yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys have to think about that. Also, what are you guys thinking of the save so far? And I do appreciate all the comments about glad I'm back recording and everything else. Uh, you know that just puts me over the moon, guys. Over the moon. Um. Let's see, assistant, assistant. We're in the green again. All right, we've got a long throw coming from Talbro into the box. Headed away, Pilge is there to control it. He tries to cross it, gets bounced back to Talbro. Talbro gets it, and there's a shot. It goes high. And that was a little unlucky, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We are getting outplayed here, so I'm going to drop back to positive. Pills has picked up a yellow. He's into the box. Kennedy controls that one. Into white. Oh, dropped into Hunter, and he banks it off the far post. And Hunter with the finish. 
that was that might be the worst goal we'll ever see but hey we'll take it we will take it a good inlet pass and hunter did a good job to get there he's uh he might be already challenging for the team lead in goals uh you know what they are uh we're gonna demand more they're uninterested all right pills is a little pressured white takes a knock uh, I need to turn that back on. Uh, notifications. I have those turned on. I just must not have seen it. Just must not have seen it. Hopefully he can rebound here. We eh, He's not. We're going to pull him off at halftime, which is disappointing. He is a good handler of the ball out there. All right, so white... I'm not sure what happened to him. It didn't really tell me. And he is a penalty taker extraordinaire. So, uh, do we want Jones in there? I don't think so. No, we want to undo that, please. Undo. Thank you. Do I not have a center back, center mid? That would be the problem. Um, we could move. We could move back and send up in that role. And then we bring in, um, yeah, he can pass the ball. Let's bring him in. Then we'll actually have three center backs in the in the in the game. And we'll just, yeah, we've got him as a defensive midfielder, and yeah, he can do the job there, I believe. All right, let's head over to the dressing room. Appreciate the efforts. We're gonna tell these guys to watch your step, and. You can finish off the talk, and there we go. All right, Davies with the corner for Cheltenham. We've given up a oh, good poke away by Pills. Lucky, lucky not to get a card. Long ball over the top. Kennedy's on the breakaway and cannot find a finish. Got to do better than that. Got to do better than that. Pills. That wasn't good. All right, another long throw. Talbro into the box. Hunter's there. Gets a foot on it, but sends it wide of the mark. Um, yeah, we're still... Hold on. Let's go out of possession. I'm going to take off pass into space. See if that helps us get any any tight. Oh, good block. See if that helps us control the ball a little bit more. We're already on average passing. I don't think I need to dial that back any. But we're, we're just losing the ball a little too much. Those are the kind of balls you really hope that your guys can control. Good pressure from our striker there. Oh, there's a good interception by Rawson. Hunter tried to cut that off. And that's what I'm talking about. We're not going route one or anything. I don't know. Oh, and both of our guys missed that ball. Damn it. Um, shit. First goal of the season by Tavon Campbell. That was a botch up. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to go there. Collins, actually, Kennedy. All right, let's move Pills out left. Collins can come up. Kennedy can go in the center. And then that leaves us with, we need Williams to come in for Jones. Boy, it's a little early, but we do have three yellow cards. Let's just go with that. We are balanced. Let's get creative. All right, they've got the throw. Good, good block. Hunter got there, but then lost it. Uh... They beat our guy. Campbell beats our center back. 
And our defense is getting toasted. Come on, you guys are center back extraordinaires, man. All right, I'm going to slide you over to a cover. And... Yeah, we'll check that tactic again. There's one more thing I want to look at. Don't need to see that. Uh, we're going to have to go back up to positive. Because we are, you know, we're, we're, we're having shots. We're doing okay. <clears throat> I wanted to look at, if we drop back just a touch, is that going to help us any? Or does that just help them put more pressure on us? I don't know. I don't know what that's going to do. I'm afraid it may just put more pressure on us. Wow. The keeper literally stood there flat footed. He stood there flat footed. That was ridiculous. I don't know how my two center backs are playing a 6-6. Six, six. Right, let's bring Kitching on, and we're going to move McGinley outside, fresh legs in the center. And Kitching, yeah, he can be our cover guy. Show some passion. Come on, fellas. That's going to be one I think I'm going to feel let, you know, got away from us. They controlled possession. Yeah, they, our, our passing was not up to snuff there. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to be assertive and not happy with your performance. That drops us down to 14th. So we are struggling. All right, we've got one more match today with uh, Crew. We'll be back for that in just a second. All right, we are back. Old Fred came in and settled in uh, during, during the intermittent uh, time period. Uh, but uh, we are going with a 4-4-1-1 uh, against Crew. We are away. I do want to, yeah, we're balanced already. I think that's fine. Let's get into it. Encourage the team. Let's cause an upset. Let's get into it. Just really quick, taking a really quick look over there because we've had like two matches in a row. Oh, God. I'm trying to see if there's a way to get these guys... Pass it shorter, take fewer risks, dribble less, hold position. More direct passes. Let's try that. I mean, I don't know. I, I am really frustrated. The the That was just a poor clearance effort right there. And then everybody collapsed to the ball. That's horrible. All right, let's get creative. I don't even want to try to pronounce that guy's name. All right. Talbro holds it up, squares it in, finds White. There's Pilge. Back to White. All right. He finds Freer. Oh, good first touch. And then he immediately loses the ball. That's great. Oh, come on, boys. Shut him down. I mean, again, there's a header. It doesn't go anywhere. And is that a foul? Is it a penalty? I think it's going to be a penalty, and Freer picks up a yellow card. Oh, this is bad. Yep, not good at all. Come on, boys. What is this? I don't need to see that again. Can we uh, show some passion, maybe? Hello? 
did you guys not get off the bus yet? Maybe they're just late showing up. The problem is, two nothing holes are not something easy. Poor shot to touch ratios. So if we go tactics, let's take off work ball into the box, see if that'll fix that problem. Uh, very disappointing. Watch your step. And let's ask for some early creativity. McGinley's frustrated. Collins is anxious. Now he's furious. Yes, furious. The fans are heckling. They're, they're not happy. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to take you off. You're just losing your shit. And Harvey White, let's bring on Adams. And you're not playing well either. Let's bring on Ashley Hunter up there. Triple sub early in the game. We did wait about 10 more minutes before we made the sub, so demand more. Sass Davies, there's an over the top. There's that's what I want to see when I get a header and Hunter into the box slots at home his fifth of the season remind me at the end of this match and we will take a look at our goal scoring leader because he might be he might be that leader now that was a good play there good play all right we are getting tired um, push forward let's go attacking. We're going to dial it up here. I really don't like to go, when we're the underdog, I don't like to go attacking, but I don't think we're going to have a choice here. We're down a goal. We need the ball. Oh, the fans are yelling. They're yelling. Get control. Oh, there's a nice interception. Hunter's in. Can he equalize? He takes a touch, and he shoots it. Oh, okay, it was a save. That goes behind for a corner. And a header goes wide. Ouch. We had a chance there. We had a chance. All right, well, we got our opportunity at the end. We got FM'd in this game. The, the penalty was ticky-tack. That first goal was just horrific. Oh, God. No, I don't appreciate your efforts. Um, we're going to go aggressive. We train hard tomorrow. Yes, we will. All right, so we've got Fleetwood in a couple of days. We are tumbling down the table here. Two wins, three draws, four losses in nine. Nine points out of nine games. We have got to do better than that. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the squad. And, yes, five goals by Hunter. And I think we are going to officially replace Collins at the top of the uh, structure. And I may look around. Let's pop in here team reports real quick. So if we look, Collins is our number one guy, but Hunter is the one pulling off the pulling off the goals. So I really want him on the pitch. Josh Marsh can do a good job backing up. So we're not really deep here. Let's see, Gronley. Gronley moves around a lot, and I need him at my at my right back a lot with Williams rather than in the 10. So that puts Collins or Kennedy into that spot. Hmm. Maybe I look at that and then, I don't know. We are really deep in midfield. Pills could slot up in here. He can move out wide. And we don't really struggle here. I wish there was an option, like if you did not want a guy playing a certain position, you could actually set it up that way. You could turn that position off as an option. 
I don't know, just something to think about. All right, guys. Well, where do we come back at? Because we're in, we're you know we're gonna see more of this, right? We're gonna see more of this. Burton. Let's come back for mil. Ugh, man, do I want a double loss episode again? They are home matches and top of the table. Let's go for Millwall and Barnsley. We'll check that out, a double home match. Uh, we had the double away losses today. Maybe we'll get lucky with some wins. See if we can find a win or you know at least some form in the interim here uh, through a couple of league matches. And we will see you guys next episode. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I am freaking out now. And we'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.